Hello, welcome to the Minetruck.net server. I'm currently on the Enterprise B, not for use in space. Little disclaimer there. And I thought I'd uh, show you a little bit of what's going on. Uh, not a lot of updating has happened. Uh, most of the stuff has been being done by Mhellers over um, in the shipyards area. You can see um, pretty much everything that's going on from the Dynamap, and the Dynamap is, there's a link to it in the descriptions of these videos. A uh, real quick update. Uh, been having problems with my uh, graphics card, as a few of you already know. I had a GeForce uh, um, EVGA GeForce 560 Ti card originally. Beautiful card, loved it, had no problems with it. Uh, until the fan went out on it back in November. Well, I contacted EVGA and they sent me a replacement card. Um, I had to pay for shipping and handling, of course. Took a couple of days to get here. When I got here, I installed it and I couldn't get it to work. It was a bad card, DOA. So I ended up working off of my other computer for a while, which is an AMD-based system. Nothing against AMD, I just don't like their video cards because they have issues that um, irk me. And um, I prefer the uh, GeForce card, personally. Um, been using GeForce cards and NVIDIA cards for since before they were GeForce and NVIDIA. Uh, and, you know, they're both great cards. They both have their, their ups and downs, of course. And But for me, I personally just prefer... Um, the GeForce card with Intel systems and the AMD card with AMD systems. So just keep them separated. Anyways, the second card was dead on arrival, so I sent it back and they sent me a third card. And um, that card uh, was, it worked great. It booted up and everything else, but the operating temp on it was incredibly high. I mean, it was like 90 Celsius on it, just idling. And the fan, it sounded like a buzzsaw. So it had a bad fan and I couldn't keep it cool and it would just heat lock instantly you know well not instantly but within a matter of minutes it would heat lock on me so I contacted EVGA and they second day air shipped me a third card and this card was the one I currently have which was an HD 570 and it again is a very nice card um, but it was sent to me with two strip display port screws. Now this is after they assured me that they will put the card through this extraordinarily high in quality check. Yet it missed two most obvious things. The primary display port screws were completely stripped out. Well, I went ahead and I didn't want to send the card back. I didn't want to go through the whole RMA process again. And I, I at this point I was like throwing my hands up in the air and saying, screw it. So um Hmm. Anyways, so what I did is um, I took the screws out of the other card and I put them in this card and presto, problem solved. Anyways, uh, I installed that card and I've been having problems ever since. I mean, you know, crash problems, uh, sync problems, other oddball issues. And now I'm getting this reoccurring error um, that reads... Uh, <laughs> um, lost sync with Windows display drivers. In 20 years of PC gaming and PC in general, I have never seen that error before, let alone the frequency at which it's happened. Um, I know on, just a side note here, on Brain's build over there, um, his former build, he had these going across and stuff. Um, the reason I didn't like them is they were too, uh, they were in the wrong locations for the deck he was using. They, um, they plus they made them a little bit bigger and they needed to be smaller so just technical stuff there anyways back on topic here uh they uh the card so i did research as to why the card was giving me this error and what it would do is it would often while doing what i'm doing right now recording or just playing minecraft or playing modded minecraft resonant rise the game would blue screen to death me just crash hard blue screen to death go black and then I'd get a blue screen, or in a lot of cases, it would just game freeze, and or the PC itself would freeze. And it did it to me on YouTube. It did it to me while I was web surfing. It would do it to me while I was gaming. It, it doesn't matter if I was playing Minecraft or uh, um, Galciv or Space Empires 4 or whatever game I'd be playing, um, GTO or whatever. It was just crash, and it was really getting on my nerves. Um, so I did some research, and I first figured it was probably a driver issue. And so I replaced the drivers, and I'm no dope. I mean, I've had GeForce cards for God knows how long. I know how to wipe the GeForce drivers and NVIDIA drivers and do it right so that it's done. 
before installing new drivers and yeah, you know, all that stuff. I'm no dope. Um, it didn't help. So I went ahead and placed it into two new systems that were being built. One was for a 770. We were waiting on the 770 card. And same problem happened with it. And I put it in one of the AMD systems and it did the same thing in the AMD system. So I pretty much figured it was the card. So I did some research and found out that that is often the sign of a bad GPU. So in a nutshell, I love EG, EVGA. They have great customer service and they make very nice cards. But for some reason, the stuff they're getting out of China, wonder why, is utter, complete crap. I, I do mean that. Chinese products are pieces of utter shit. Their capacitors, everything from from their from their semiconductors to their to their the simplest electronic parts are even their batteries are garbage. Go buy one of those lights from like Harbor Freight or something. See how long the light lasts. You know, it starts working. You got to shake it to get it to work. You know, the batteries are all a bunch of crap. And um, yeah, it's just they're just crap. They're crap, crap, crap. They're craptastic. You know. And uh, I guess I got so damn frustrated uh, that I sent off a really kind of a blunt, fiery, I'm angry at you, I want this problem fixed uh, email, a couple of them actually, to VGA, because I talked to them on the phone and they kept assuring me that, you know, this problem will be fixed, we'll send you this great card, and then they shipped me that card with the missing display port, stripped out display port screws and, you know, bad GPU in it. Well, potentially bad GPU, I don't know, but at any point. Um, they just contacted me and they're going to send me another card. And again, they're assuring me that they're going to, you know, quality check the card before they send it out and all this other stuff. And if this card comes back and I get it and it's another piece of shit card, I, I'm done with EVGA at that point. I'll go to FF, XFX or PV, PV or one of the, I'll probably go with ASUS. Um, you know, if you have a better suggestion for um, NVIDIA provider than, you know, P&Y or whatever they call them, um, let me know. But, yeah, I, I, I'm at wit's end. You know, these things shouldn't be failing that bad. They should definitely not be failing um, their quality checks and stuff like that. Yet they are. And, you know, like I said, EVG has great customer service. They're a great company. But, you know, like with OCZ, who just went bankrupt, and they're the provider of my uh, hard drives and my power supply, uh, they only went bankrupt because they couldn't get materials. They couldn't meet demand. And, you know, with the shortage of flash memory and all that stuff going on from whatever reason, I think China's buying up all the flash memory or the rare earth materials needed to make them, uh, OCZ couldn't, couldn't sell enough products to stay afloat, so Toshiba bought them out. And, yeah, I, I don't trust Toshiba any further than I can uh, throw a starship against the wind in a hurricane. Uh, yeah, they just, yeah, they're not something I would recommend. Um, so, yeah, I kind of, oh, i got to fill these in. I completely forgot I have this all mapped out. Uh, this is an RCS thruster. Anyways, that's what's going to happen with the EVGA, except on the reverse. If they keep making products that fail, and then, then when they ship you back, other products, you know, replacement products, and they fail in short order, yeah, at some point people are going to stop buying your product. This is a um, lounge. I still have to put in anything in here yet. Um, this is, of course, the B. Um, you know, it, it, it's all about customer service and reliability and dependability. And if people start stop to think about, you know, hey, I want repeat business and I'm not going to get it if I keep selling crap products, then they're not going to be in business very long. You know, it's like, you know, look at the government website. If anybody needs any examples um, about how the U.S. government would run health care, all they have to do is look at the sign-up website and how brilliantly that was executed. You know, case in point, it sucked. But and how many people have signed up for it? Really? Um, well, anyways, I main reason for this video is I wanted to run around the ship here and test out the new D 
lowered, excuse me, the degraded lower settings that I put on the card so it wouldn't tax the GPU as much. And so far it hasn't crashed. Uh, I've noticed a serious performance hit issue with it, but um, nothing too bad that I can't live with. Um, but you know, it's it's got issues. But I, I can I I hopefully it'll last long enough for me to get the replacement card and. Again, hopefully that card will be a lot better card than the last three or four I've gotten from them. At any expense, I appreciate taking the time to watch this uh, video, and I wish you the best, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.